G'day guys, Shane here, it's the 26th of June, what is it, 5am here, whatever it is where you are, good morning, good evening, good night, I think it is from that movie. Um, how are we all this morning? Say g'day in the comments there so I can see who's saying hello and and we're live. G'day Scott. It's, um, it's, a, it's a pretty wintry morning here. It's uh, in fact tonight... And tomorrow night, I had some some uh, astrophotography workshops set up with the the local shire, the local council. They're running a um, uh, an astrophotography exhibition, like a deep space uh, photography, uh, deep sky photography competition in there. And they asked me to run some workshops uh, for locals who want to do astrophotography. And it's it's just cloudy as buggery out there. It's horrible weather. So we've postponed that. Um, I've, I've got some new toys to play with that I haven't been able to play that much with them at all yet. I'll talk to, about them in a minute because it's just been, well, the weather's just been crap. Um, it's it's winter. <laughs> it's the way it is. Uh, who have we got in here? Michael Kane, Michael, well, Robert Kane, Michael Holbrook. 4 p.m. hot summer day here. Where are you, Scott? Are you an American or are you an Englishman? I can't recall. Greg Chard, g'day guys. Um, morning, midnight here, midnight, and you're up doing this. It's a funny thing with um, the times that I start doing these. I'm usually up really early in the morning anyway. I've been up for two hours so far. But um, the the uh, YouTube um, suggests that I should run my, my live sessions at 2 a.m. And I enjoy doing it, but not that much. <laughs> Even at 3 a.m. I need a couple of coffees to get cracking and uh, my wife will be asleep behind that wall and she doesn't want to hear me jibber-jabbering in here to you guys and waking her up at 2 o'clock in the morning either. But, um, anyway, um, let's let's move on. Um, 38 degrees. Well, that's all right. Tucson. I haven't been to Arizona. Nova Scotia. Cool. Um, so... Uh, um, well, let's get in. I've got a few things I want to cover today. Obviously, um, we'll give some stuff away today. I've got a, um, a a fairly big. Just looking at, I had an error coming there on my live stream. If you guys are having issues with it, with what I'm, what you're seeing and stuff, just put a comment there. YouTube just threw me an error saying that that uh, I might be dropping keyframes. But anyway. We'll move on. Might be just be my internet connection here. It's it wouldn't I wouldn't be the first person locally to say that my internet sucks. Eight p.m. here in Scotland. Well, at least we're all around the world today. Um, first and foremost, if you haven't joined that bloody legends Facebook group, we hit two hundred this morning, and I'm not sure how long we've been going there. Enough devos in here. Um, he also he helps me out there on as an admin on that group. Um, and in all the photography groups that I belong to on uh, Facebook, it's um, it's probably my favourite group because the people who post on there are posting some pretty bloody good content, and when they're asking for help, the whole community gets behind them and helps them out. I think that's that's bloody good. If um, if you uh, if you look at some of the other photography groups on Facebook, phone photography groups on Facebook, there's a lot of um, some some pretty let's call them below par sort of photos and basically i think people join them to say hey can you edit my photo for me and um the amount of times that i type out you can't polish a turd then just delete the the space <laughs> don't be so rude you mongrel um so <laughs> but I, I really love the group that we've got it's, it's a it's a good group it's a good size group um and uh devo with his he, he's uh, managed a few different groups before and he had some suggestions earlier on with the questions that you've got to ask to get in there and I think we've weeded out any crap members I think um, before they even jump in there so it's a good group and I'm really happy with what we've got going on there but 200 people in there for a little Facebook group I think that's pretty good um, looks like it's working fine so I don't know what YouTube's on about it's good 70 73% humidity you've got to be kidding me on oh, New Orleans okay <laughs> Yeah, okay. So um, before moving down here, well, our, our humidity here, not today, because well, it's just rainy and shit, but um, 
I used to live on the Gold Coast, up on the sandy beaches and stuff, which I never went to, and um, the humidity was the killer down there, oh, up there. Uh, down here in the heat in the summer, we get to about 40, uh, we can get 45 degree days here, which is, I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit numbers, but it's bloody hot. Um, but you can hop in the shade and it's bearable. The humidity is virtually nothing. Um, ah, g'day, Greg. I was listening to your podcast just yesterday. Was it yesterday? The day before? I can't remember the fellow you had on there with you, but you were talking about the the the, the lenses that you're using, what your favourite lenses are to use, and the wide and the ultra wide and the, the telephoto. I think the, the, the podcast was about the wide angle lens, but you seem to talk about all of them anyway. I, it's, I enjoy your podcast, mate. It's, it's, uh, it's one of these things that I never thought you could get, do a podcast on something that was so visual, but you do it. I haven't watched the YouTube version of it yet. I, I tend to listen to podcasts in a headphone while I go about my day. But uh, love it, what you do on there, man. And if people haven't seen that or you don't know what I'm talking about, um, give it a plug, Greg, just down there. Ramus Simon. Thanks, man. Love it. Love it. It's a... Uh, I'll, I'll say it every time that somebody throws some some money in the super chat. There, it's um, it's it's always cool. It's uh, like YouTube YouTube pay me for this sort of stuff anyway. It's not it's not a king's ransom or anything. It um, and every little bit helps. But when someone throws a few bucks at you, it's that's awesome. I really appreciate it. <clears throat> um, UK, all over the world, are we? It's pretty cool. Um, where else are we up to? Oh, nearly 28 or 28,000. Did we get to 28,000? Let me have a quick look. I think we are at 28,000. It is 28,000. We've got to 28,000 on the on the subs on the channel as well. That's that's kind of cool. Um, you might have seen th those of you who, who watch the community tab and, um, uh, and are really active in, in our community here, you will have seen that Ralph Mayhew, um, my mate up on the Gold Coast there that I did that long exposure video with, I tend to plug him a little bit because... He does good content and, and he has been plugging away and plugging away for, for well, as long as I have and putting out as much content, I think, as what I do. And the poor bugger, he's, he only just got to a thousand and that's, it was it was awesome. I, I felt really happy for the guy. It, it, it was well deserved and I wish he got it earlier and now he'll start seeing um, a little bit of um, dollars coming back. Don't get me wrong, it's not, we're, we're not gazillionaires here um, and uh, I'm still working. So, um, you know, it's, it's, it's good that, that Ralph's finally kicked over that. And, and in a couple of weeks, um, um, what is it? It's about, it's about, 20, about three weeks, I think it is. Um, I actually head up to the Gold Coast again. Um, and um, um, I'll catch up with Ralph and hopefully we'll get another video done together and um, push it out there. Michael Holbrook, good on you, man. You're a bloody legend. Love it. Love it. Um, I'll just, this this will be weird, I'm, I'm heading over to the Facebook group while I'm talking to you guys here, because I see that people are wanting to join. Um, oh, Harold Peterson, you're a cheesehead. I'm a cheesehead. I don't have any of the hats up there at the moment though. Um, a cheesehead is uh, for those that, he's a, he's a Packers fan. Yeah, so I'll, in my... In my previous life as a as a as a hoof trimmer, um, so you all know that I work on a farm um, a few days a week, and <clears throat> I uh, um, I do well, photography as well. So I do weddings and that sort of business, and commercial work, and family portraits, and yada yada yada. And obviously, I do this. Um, but in a previous life, I was a hoof trimmer, and a hoof trimmer is like a a podiatrist for cattle. And um, anyway, I was. I've spent. I've been over to Wisconsin a couple of times there to to work with Lambo Stadium. Lambo is that? I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. And anyone who watches anything that I do, you know that my pronunciation of names is just bloody terrible. I'm useless at it. It's hilarious. Uh, I, sometimes I, I just know that I don't pronounce things right, and I'll say in a video that I don't pronounce this right, and and I'll almost always get a comment saying you didn't do that right. <laughs> That's life. That's the way it is. But I went to Lambeau Stadium, and uh, it wasn't a game playing, but I was just blown away by by the industry that it is that that the um, you know the NFL is. It's it's just it's incredible. I, I don't follow sport at all. There's in Australia we have AFL and NRL and cricket and 
well, that's pretty much it. We do other sports, but they're the big ones. Um, and uh, I don't follow any of them. It's I don't really have the time to to like be vested in into something like that. And um, it's uh, um, to see that NFL stadium. Um, I, I, I watch games occasionally, but I was just blown away by it. it was I was just amazed. Um, David Campbell, good on you, man. You guys are throwing dollars at me like nothing else. I really appreciate it. Really, really do. You don't have to do it, but I really, really, really appreciate it. Um, so uh, uh, back to that, um, the cheesehead comment was that the Packers are well, Wisconsin's dairy area, so they, they wear big like, wedges of cheese on their heads, and it's, anyway, cheeseheads. But anyway, let's move on. We've had it <laughs> from Wisconsin. That's right. From um, So anyway, well, let's, let's, let's move on. Bloody hell, Greg, you always throw money at me. Good on you. Absolutely love it. And and I'll plug your bloody podcast as much as I can because it's well worth listening to. If you if you want to li- if you sit here l- listening to me jibber jabbering for half an hour or an hour or however long I do it for, you'll absolutely get something out of those guys as well. Um, I've got a few questions for you guys and and answer them um, a- 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 as you see fit. Um, the the giveaway stuff I'll do towards the end of this, and, and um, I've got a few things here to give away. Um, if the person, first of all, I've got an apology to make. I, I made a, um, a comment, and I'm pretty sure it was in a live session, <clears throat> and it was about the um, uh, the dome glass, the screen protectors, and somebody made a comment that they have an iPhone 12 mini, and I said, I've got this screen glass here that no one um, put their hand up for, and I'm happy to send it to you. And they sent me a, a, a an email, and I've lost it. I can't find it. I get so many bloody emails. But <clears throat> I've, I've got these things here um, to send to you. Um, <laughs> I'm really sorry. I just, I've just i lost the bloody email. I don't know where you're from. I've got a feeling you're in Europe somewhere, and, and I can't remember who it is. I'm really, really sorry. I feel like an absolute dickhead for it. But um, if, if you are watching this, and I'll put a post on the Facebook group later, but if you're watching this, um, can you send me that email again, and I'll send them off to you. They're sitting here, and I've just I've lost it. <clears throat> but the giveaways that we're doing today, this is um, one of those lights. This is that um, Ulanzi light that I did with the uh, Harley. It's a good light. It's very lightweight. Um, so for the mobile photography stuff, you don't want to carry heaps of crap with you, but that one's a, a nice, a small one. Um, and it's an RGB light, so it does some good accent lighting and stuff. And the other things I'm giving away today is all these Movo lenses. So there's a fisheye lens, a wide-angle lens, and a telephoto lens. And these will clip onto any phone. So <clears throat> that's what we'll give away today. And, geez, the stockpile of stuff I've got l- building up over there um, for things to, to throw out there and, and send and do videos. And then if, um, once we're done with that, we'll send on to you guys. As, yeah, it's, it's growing. A lot of people, I, I get that many people contacting me at the moment. Um, and I weed out a lot of stuff that I don't think is warranted to, to do on this channel. Um, but the amount of stuff that I do get sent, um, I'll never use it all. So you may, you guys may as well. So questions. Um, <clears throat> why do you watch these live sessions? Is just to listen to me jibber jabber. Um, why do you listen to them? Why do you watch these things? Um, I'm, I'm dead set curious. Um, let me just rip, so if answer that if you if you like. <clears throat> um, South Dakota. Sorry, I'm, when I go like blank like that, I'm just reading comments. So just talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> From Denmark. Um, so another question. I've got three questions for you. If if you. What is one thing that you would like to do with photography or videography or whatever um, on your phone that you struggle with? And I'll look at making videos about that. Um, and how many of you actually shoot video with your phone? There's a lot of um, company. I'm, I've got a couple of videos coming. Uh, I've been, the videos at the moment, because the sky has just been bloody terrible, I've been making other videos about videoing with your mobile device as well. Um, and I'm not sure if we want to do that, like broaden the, the channel that way. Um, if you're sitting here watching a, a, a live session with me, you're probably into what I do. So if I'm going to change that a little bit, 
not entirely. I'll always do what I'm doing because I'd, I'd absolutely love getting out there in the middle of the night and capturing the night sky and doing cool, funky things with the with the camera on the phone. But if um, and and it kind of does work with the the video. But um, I'm curious as to whether you guys actually do use the video functionality. I like the interaction between you and the viewers. That's because you're a good bloke, mate. There you go. Interaction between the viewers. Um, oh, yep. Yeah, cool, cool. Good feedback there, Scott. <clears throat> Yeah, but I need like background music while I'm nodding my head to comments, don't I? I need something like that going on. Yep. Not really into video, more into photography. Light pollution, light pollution's... That light pollution is a thing that I'm seeing more and more on that Bloody Legends um, photography group. <clears throat> Your iPhone is, l um, remember before I said about pronunciation of names, my apologies, um, Abdul Hafiz, I'm really sorry dude, um, 10 seconds, What? tell me what phone you have there man, because I reckon that's a tripod problem. <clears throat> yep. Photos of sunsets, that's a good one. Oddly enough, I'm doing one of them very shortly with another company, which <coughs> um, you guys, sorry, <coughs> it's not COVID, trust me, it's just early in the morning. Um, so another company that has sent me stuff, and they've sent me stuff before, and I really like their gear, um, that sunset comment there, well, we're doing some of that very shortly. Um, I, I asked... When, when I'm dealing with that company, Sandmark, um, they asked if I'd like to do more, and I said I would, and I would like to do, one, I'd like to do some macro stuff, um, and two, I would like to do um, some filters, because they make some good uh, ND filters, the neutral density filters, and the reason I want to do that is because I really struggle with long exposure, like everyone does, with the Androids. Um, there's no good app, like there is on... Um, like there is on the iPhone. There's many apps that you can do for long exposure with the iPhone, but not so much um, with um, the Android. So filters is probably going to be where it's at. So um, so with the sunsets and stuff, uh, you can expect to see some filters coming into play with that shortly. <clears throat> um, I've only found two YouTube channels. I was going to say, you got to go watch Dave Addison. <laughs> Well, <laughs> if you didn't put his name there, I would have said, go and look at David Addison. Um, I tend to, when it comes to um, uh, apps and stuff, and I watch David's stuff, and I've actually reached out to David a while ago and said, hey, it's when we were both probably at about a 1,000 or so subscribers, I said, hey, let's do something together. And uh, yeah, it's, it, it's what it is. Like, if, if we want to do something, if he wants to do something, we'll do something. Um, but uh, when, when it comes to apps, I kind of go on the absolute layman level and go, this is how to use it, and this is how I use it, and that's what you can get. Whereas David will go into absolute granular detail on what this app is and, and, and how to relate it, I guess. The easiest way to explain it is he, he relates it very, in, in the language he uses very DSLR language in an app. And, and that's great. If, if you're into um, that sort of detail, absolutely go and watch his stuff. He, um, Way back when he first started, I wanted to actually say to you guys, go and watch this guy's channel. But, um, um, oh, Galaxy S8, I see. No worries. It probably is um, 10 seconds, right? That's that's where you're at. Um, I was going to set, tell you guys to go and watch this guy's channel, um, but I couldn't pronounce what his original channel was called. It was because he changed his name of his channel just to his name. Uh, it used to be called like Pisakelmu or something like that. I can't. I always struggle to even say it. And um, anyway, he does really good videos. It's it's uh, if you, he does a lot of um, uh, reviews and stuff, in depth reviews on the higher manual apps on the iPhone, like um, um, ProCam and Halide and things like that. So um, absolutely, go and watch, go go and check it out. David Addison's his, his name, and um, it's it's funny that you say that. You watch two YouTubes. <laughs> You're a typical Aussie, mate. You're a bloody legend. Typical Aussie. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Um, 
when, when my wife and when we were allowed to travel, the last last place we went to was Japan. We love Japan. I can't wait till we're allowed to go back and start doing some stuff, especially now that I've got this channel and I just want to go touring the world and take photos around the world. I want to head back to Japan. And um, when, when you say a typical Aussie, um, yeah, go socks. Um, when uh, la oh, the first time or the second time, I can't remember, but we went to Tokyo first and we, we saw virtually no uh, Aussies anywhere. Um, it was all just Japanese folks and it was quiet and... Um, I remember I, I struggle with crowds. It's just a crazy thing. Um, and I remember we went to, we stayed at a place called Shinjuku, which is incredibly busy. Like the Shinjuku train station is the busiest train station in the world. And, and I felt totally comfortable in there in a, in a sea of people. It's just, it's a beautiful place. People are just amazing. And um, we didn't see any Aussies for the first week. And then we went to the snow to go skiing and we hopped at the tr we got to the train station and we saw our first Aussie and I was embarrassed to be an Aussie. We were just loud larrikins, just bloody carrying on. So that's why I say um, uh, when, you, uh, when you're talking there about um, typical Aussie, I go, ooh, where am I? <laughs> about five years ago, there were two or three videos of mobile photography. I had to make it up as I went, ah, yes, very good. How's the health? The health is good. Um, I just want to keep on reading these, and I'll talk about that in a second. How many... Now, there's so many apps when it comes to editing the device, there's not much for photo stacking. There isn't anything for photo stacking. There's nothing. Um, and it, it's a it's pain. Um, um, the stacking happens on the computer. It's, it's as simple as that. There's, there's no, there is a, a fellow who contacted me a while ago, um, and he actually made an app for stacking astrophotography photos. Um, on iOS and it has such awesome potential but it's not right there where I want it yet where, where, well, it's not, not to me, he makes the app, it's got nothing to do with me um, it's the way that it worked was um, you take multiple photos and it would work with things like GoPros um, so you take multiple photos but then you'd stack them all together and make a time lapse or not make a, a, a star trail photo and and that's 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 the concept is good but if you could line them up, like the Pixel does, on an app on iOS, that would be awesome. But then you go, well, there's no intervalometer app for the iPhone. So you kind of want that to make that. Like we've kind of, in his case there, like the, the concept is great. The, the, the app um, started from the back of the cart and he's working his way towards the horse, you know. Um, the, we, we wait and see. <clears throat> the health. So... Excuse me. The health, obviously, I'm speaking fine. I can breathe okay. Um, so you all saw that I was in hospital for a bit, blood clots and so forth. And it turns out it wasn't blood clots. Um, I had a lung infection and I was being treated for that lung infection. I went and got that scan. And the scan, when they put the, the dye into my arm, It'll, oh, I, I, I say a lot of it ran down, and I think probably half of it ran down the back of my arm, the dye that goes into your blood system so they can take the CT scan. And my doctor, he gets the report, and the report said I've got blood clots. He went and did more blood tests. I think in the time that I was in hospital, I probably took out a couple of litres of blood. They took that much blood for different things. And um, it all said no, no blood clots. Um, and... Uh, Went for more scans, like other other scans where I breathed in this radioactive stuff and they took a heap of photos of my chest and then more radioactive stuff in my arm and took more photos and that came back as negative. Um, and I was using Ventolin at the time. I'm not asthmatic. Um, I don't even know an asthmatic person. And um, anyway, I was referred off to a, a, a respiratory specialist and um, I sat down with him and, and he got the scan. He actually looked at the CT scan and he went, there's not enough contrast in that. I don't know what they're measuring. I don't know why they think you've got blood clots. Everything else says that you don't. And we're basing all this blood clot thing on the CT scan, which when he looked at the scan himself and he sent it off to a couple of other doctors and, and they all went, there's not enough dye in his arm. There's not enough dye in the system to show contrast. And I said, because it all ran down my arm. So he said, you've got asthma. Simple as that. You've got asthma. He said, your lung infection has led to asthma. I said, I don't have asthma. I've never had asthma. And he said, no, you've got asthma. That lung infection has caused asthma. Um, and the Ventolin that I'm using, I, I, I give it a hit every morning and 
if I need to during the day, and, and I feel fine now. Um, so um, that's what we're treating me for at the moment is asthma. I'll go back and see him in a couple of weeks to do some like lung capacity testing and stuff. But on the all, um, I'm doing doing damn sight better. I don't feel like I'm dying now. I really hope you keep on giving giving us good tips on exposure on mobile photography. Love the amateur challenges with, not sure what you mean there, amateur challenges with his brother. I don't know what you mean. Michael Holbrook. I watch these live sessions because I get the damn notifications. <laughs> I don't do that. That's because you hit the bell. Um, yeah, that's that's because you hit the bell. Um, even Longer. Even Longer is an app that I've got and I'm doing a video on it at the moment. Um, it's, it's, it's bloody good, um, off the face of it. And I actually got this off David Addison's. I, I saw him doing a review on it. I thought, wonder if I can use that. And, um, yeah, because I, because I do, I do use, um, like moment long exposure stuff and I do use the slow shutter cam. Um, uh, and when I saw even longer, that app called even longer, um, I thought that's got good potential because it goes for a long time. And, uh, anyway, um, stay tuned for that. That's. That's an app that I'm, I'm, I've got on the phone right now, and I've used it a few times. Um, and the sky at the moment is just dull grey everywhere. If there was a bit more contrast in clouds and stuff to it, we'd be seeing some. I'll be out there shooting like half hour photos with that. We shall see. So stay tuned. This is bloody awesome. Thanks. <laughs> um, people laugh when it was. Oh, well, I lost what you were just saying there. Got to get. How do I get back to that? <clears throat> People used to laugh when it was suggested that mobile photography would rival real cameras. Um, the another one. Thank you so much, Harold QB Harold. Thanks, man. I really do appreciate that. The um, it's funny you say that about the 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 cameras and the phones rivaling the real cameras. I think that um, I think that the phone will never replace the DSLR. I think that's the case. I do think that the phone has already replaced the point and shoot camera. In fact, I've got um, a, an Olympus Tough TG6 over there. Uh, I actually purchased that to get good photos when I go on my bike rides. Um, because it's nice and small, um, and um, I'd never take it now. That thing sits here now. I just take my phone. Uh, I actually have bought a new phone. I'll talk about that one in a minute. And my honest opinion of it so far, and I haven't finished doing all the testing because it's been cloudy as all crap. Um, I would actually buy this ca this phone just for the camera and not even use it as a phone. But we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, let me minimize that so I can see back to you guys here. Uh, had a lung infection a couple of years ago. Not fun. No, it wasn't fun. Um, uh, contrary to popular belief, breathing isn't overrated. Um, you kind of need it. David Addison. Ah, gotcha. Um, Dear man, that was quite an experience. Glad to hear you're feeling safe. Yeah, I am feeling good now. Um, oh, I'm feeling feeling great now. Um, oh, so you've had asthma all your life. Ah, there you go. Well, without you doing what you've done, I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing, if that makes sense. Um, I'm talking about Ramses. Um, meaning it has grown genre. Man, there's too many conversations here. I can't keep up. <laughs> Let's move on. Um, if you wanted me to do a specific video, and only a couple of people here have said about the video. Um, so I've got a couple of videos coming with video, like learning some video. Um, and we'll just see how they perform. I'm always going to be doing the photography stuff. And we'll see how those videos do perform. And if they do okay, I'll probably do both, like running parallel. Um, and if, and if I think that they're not doing that well, um, I'm about to wind back um, what I do in my day job, like hours-wise, because this is kicking off so well. I may well even start a second channel and run beside this one just for 
mobile video, but you know, time will tell. We shall see. Um, so you've seen this one in a few videos, and that's the six, not the ten, the six. Um, another thing that I didn't pick up in a video. So I have a ten. It's out there. It. Um, I used this this phone here when I did this video uh, with the Movo lenses, and um, I didn't. I, I was going to be using the ten, and then um, good to see you all the best. Keep up the great content. Catch you later, dude. Um, and uh, <clears throat> someone picked up it wasn't a ten, and I sat here with my hat in my hand, and went, "Yeah, it wasn't. I'm sorry." Um, and I like this. This is the Pixel. Uh, I think this is probably the the best. No, not the best. This is the simplest phone to use for astrophotography. It's dead set simple. I'm looking forward to the six and seeing where that goes. Um, and my day-to-day -day phone is still this. The SIM card is in this. This is the 12 Pro Max. And I use that. That's with me everywhere. That's what I use for phone calls. And I take most of my photos with that. <clears throat> with the exception of 50% oh, of the, the nighttime stuff that I do. And that, as you would know, comes from that. I've got a lot of bloody phones um, from, from this phone. And I like this but I like, I like what the manual mode on this, but I like the apps that are on this. Um, this doesn't do long exposure straight out of the bat. You're going to need to marry something like this and still shoot at 30 seconds to then hopefully get a little bit of cloud movement and then you might need to stack them later on. Um, and um, whereas this I could shoot for like slow shutter cam, slow shutter cam, yep, for, you know, minutes long and that even longer goes even longer um but peracha so uh hey ron oh thanks man you know i want beer you know none of this money goes to caffeine right <laughs> um uh greg what, what about a video on portrait mode i think that's out now um i think um i only updated this last night and I'm not going to commit to it yet but I'm pretty sure that's on here now um, so stay stay tuned I've, I've got a feeling it's there now I remember hearing about that in your um, in your podcast that was a long podcast that WW whatever it was um, it was very long <laughs> I couldn't listen to all that one man um, so um, back to what I was saying is that like if I wanted to do like star trails with this, with the S21, I've got to bring those photos onto the computer and put them all together um, or, or stack them in a certain way. Then um, somebody, and I can't remember who, one of you guys um, posted a photo on the Facebook group and... Ooh. I just saw something in the comments that I kind of went, ooh, ooh. you can use HD videos as a photo. Now look at that. Excuse me while I write down an idea. His idea. Um, but one of you guys posted a photo and I was like, how the hell did you do that? Um, I didn't think Androids did that. And it was a Star Trail photo and it was a Huawei phone. Um, and I can't remember who it was, doesn't matter. Um, the, the apps that are on this, that are available on this, um, just aren't there. And, and then I went and did some research and I went, this will. Uh, so I went and bought one. And this is, can I get the screen right? No, there, there you go. It is one of those things. Um, the phone that I could never pronounce until I did Greg's podcast. And then I still couldn't pronounce it for a little while after that. <laughs> um, but um, <clears throat> what I've done with this so far, this is the P40 Pro, the Huawei P40 Pro, it is, um, it, it's bloody ridiculous. This is, uh, I was I was gonna say it was you, but I wasn't, I wasn't sure I didn't wanna put you on the spot and go, no. Um, what this thing can do, and what I've done with it so far, is just bloody stupid. Um, 
the Google services aside and the whole Chinese and yada, yada, yada aside, I, I, I would, at this stage, in its early days, I would keep this on me just for the camera. This is a bloody good camera. It's probably the best camera I've used so far. And this is a year old, maybe older. Um, on the market, like this is new to me, but um, this is a this is a new phone. This does star trails, light trails, um, long exposure photo in the camera, in the camera itself. It's it's got a 50 megapixel um, camera, just like the 108 on this, doing that photo there. Um, so um, so far, I'm, I'm I'm incredibly impressed with it. And what you can do with just the regular camera, nighttime aside, it looks bloody amazing so i'll be doing a, a side by side video of of um these two soon um just the 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 use of this thing that i've had so far um the face recognition seems to work really quickly on this compared to basically anything else that i have um the fingerprint reader on the front is quicker than anything else that i've had um i'm just really really impressed with it so far Google services aside, because you can't get Google services on there unless you do like back-end sort of um, um, hacks isn't probably not the right word. There's ways to do different things like YouTube, for example. You can still watch it, but it's just on a browser. Um, but anyway, I'm not using it as a phone. I'm just using it as a camera right now. And so far, I'm bloody impressed with it. Let's have a quick look through these. As for now, the photos taken with phones are meant to be consumed on their screen. Transfer it to a larger screen. Oh, you'll always, I think you'll always see a difference between them and a DSLR, mainly in the, the, the lenses. Um, but as I think as compu computational photography gets better, with especially with depth of field things and, and, and uh, portrait mode and stuff like that, as that gets better, um, like the, the iPhone with the LiDAR sensor is just incredible. So I think it'll get better and better and better as, as time moves on, I think. And I think it'll be harder for people to see. Like a lot of the bigger YouTubers like Peter McKinnon and um, uh, Marquez Brownlee have done comparison videos with DSLRs versus you know um, um, iPhone 12 when it came out. And it was pretty hard to see that, but you're seeing it on a screen. Um, is it possible to shoot Orion? Absolutely, I've shot Orion a few times. Um, the, the constellation of Orion. Um, I think uh, the closer you want to get, you're going to need telescopes. Um, jump onto that Facebook group there. Who was that? <laughs> I'm really sorry. I'm just, I just suck at pronouncing names. I'm really bad. Um, so jump on that Facebook group. There's a guy over there named James Culver, and he does a lot of stuff through telescopes, and he's actually quite talented with it. I've only done a little bit with telescopes, and... Well, it's cloudy out there at the moment. So the more time I get with my telescope, the more I'll probably throw a couple of videos here and there with the telescope with different um, nebula uh, photography. And uh, we'll just see. After being blown up in Afghanistan. Ah. Matt Owens. You a grunt? I'm a grunt. Hit me up on Facebook, dude. Let's have a chat. Matt Owens, because um, what you're doing there, I've got a few resources there that might be worthwhile you looking at. Um, the, uh, the the council, oh, not sure how much I want to put out any. I speak with someone every every week, uh, all about mindfulness, like vet, for vets, and. Um, um, I do a little bit of stuff with that. So jump on Facebook, dude, and send me a message and we'll have a chat off this platform. Um, I know different vets can be different, sort of um, open, I guess. But anyway, sorry to get all serious on you there, guys. But uh, Matt, hit me up, dude, if you want. Um, you did tell me the Huawei was good, and I believed you, but there was all these other phones coming out, and I was been waiting for the P50 and P50 and P50, and I've... I think Huawei in Sydney in Australia have got my number banned now because I call them so often. Like, Where's this bloody phone? Because it's meant to come out in March, and it's not March. What the hell? <clears throat> um, oh, you're in a chair. Right, cool. Hit me up, dude. We're happy to have a chat. Um, 
from Sweden. All right, get back on track. I, I suspect, and I've only taken a few photos with this um, in manual mode, and um, I am doing a video comparing these two, and I'm going to say you're probably not going to tell the difference. Um, in fact, there's photos that I've taken so far that this is definitely better than this. Um, what I will say though is that out of all three of these phones, this is the P40, the 21 and the 12 Pro Max, the, um, the night mode, and I did a video on, and I'm just talking about night mode, um, this, this just kills it. This is better than both of them by a long way. A long way handheld night mode it just it's better than both of them in my opinion but you'll see a video soon enough <clears throat> I guess Matt Owens is already up to your Facebook page oh he may well be he may well be um, oh you are <laughs> but yeah anyway dude let's have a chat um, there's a I'm just gonna go over to this group um, bear with me for a second, folks. Uh, while I find some photos here, you can just watch me looking at my computer for a second. Um, actually, you can come over and look at my computer for a second. Um, there was some photos here where somebody was really struggling. Um, this was kind of a weird photo. And, and I think it was, and I'm not sure if Gregory's in this live session, but how those stars are kind of, it looks like it's almost, it looks like it's almost wet and the, and the water is like washed out the stars. That's what, that's what it looks like to me. That's what comes to my head when I see this. But, um, <coughs> <I've>, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> the, um, I think this is an older galaxy, like an S8 maybe or an S10. I think, um, but that's not the photo I was talking about. This is the photo I was talking about. This, I think, was, I'm wondering if this fellow's in here. This was a, a photo from a 12 Pro, looking at all those artifacts in there. And I, this, this, this photo thread came to me um, on, um, oh, somebody tagged me about how to get the, uh, the photo shared to other people and stuff and they were talking about the editing on this photo and with um, this you can see on the horizon on the bottom left hand side there there's a lot of light pollution in this photo and, and this I think is the biggest struggle with well everybody um, that's remotely close to a town and when it comes to this sort of photo the, the best thing you're going to find 100% of the time to edit this, um, I would not even bother with using Snapseed. Um, Snapseed's fantastic when it's dark and it's totally dark, but it doesn't have that dehazing slider. And when that when you're that close to town um, and the light pollution is giving you is giving you issues, um, that that dehazing slider is going to resolve most of that. And I think that. Um, when when I, when I look through that the thread on that page uh, on that post, <clears throat> um, a lot of you guys have actually suggested in there to use that um, dehazing slider. So you're on the money there. I reckon this one, who's oh, Scotts? Of course it's bloody Scotts. He's a gun photographer. Um, it's it's one of those things that when I start looking at when I see these things come up in my news feed, I'm starting to pick who's taking these photos because of the quality of what they're doing here. Um, this is S21, I'm assuming, yep, 15 seconds. That's a lot of detail in the core for 15 seconds, dude. That's really cool. <clears throat> I love the fact that you're putting um, your your specs on this, or your, your met it's not quite your metadata, but it's certainly enough there for people to work out what you've done with the 15 seconds, the ISO and so forth. That's that's really quite good. <clears throat> the, um, the light that's inside that caravan I'm guessing that um, you don't call them caravans, do you? You call them trailers. Um, oh no, you're, you're Canadian. Um, so I don't know. What do you call them in Canada? 
Do you call them trailers or caravans? But what I would say is that light that's coming through that window there is <clears throat> um, way too much. Um, what I have found when I was doing, when I teach astrophotography with proper cameras, um, <clears throat> those train cabooses that you may have seen in the video, um, I used to take people out there and, and show them, teach them how to take photos of the Milky Way rising above those with proper cameras, DSLRs and mirrorless and so forth. And we would actually use the torch on this, on the lower setting, put a couple of pieces of paper on top of it so it diffused the light even more to get just that little bit of light. So if I was to look at that travel trail, really? You don't. You don't call them travel trailers. You're taking the piss, aren't you? Um, when, when I look at uh, that, I just go, it's a little bit too blown out in that window there. So I would say um, find another way to light that inside. Like I reckon that photo is just the shit. I reckon that's really, really good. But um, the only downside of that photo is that light that's blown out in there. And I'm guessing there's a bit of um, moon pollution there, moonlight pollution from the side of that caravan, or if you lit that, or sorry, the travel trailer. Um, but uh, if you found another way to light that with a smaller light, um, it would it would be better, I think. Um, travel trailers, uh, RV trailers, a candle. Yeah, yeah, the wife and the, ah, right. If people were in it, you gotta kick them out, man, when your photo is important. You can play cards whenever. <laughs> um, you call them campers, okay. Well, there you go. I heard, I heard on the, it's different terminology all over the world. We call them caravans um, and trailers and RV trailers and campers i heard on the radio that <clears throat> yesterday um they, they were doing a, a, a um a session on language that's used here in australia but it's not used anywhere else so and and the thing that they were talking about there was barracking for a team and that's what we call it like if, if we've got a um uh, say i went to boston and watched the Sox play i'd be i'd be barracking for the Sox. but apparently that's different where apparently australia is the only ones who use that term in that way like you know, in, in America, it was um, uh, what do you I think they call it? Like rooting for the team, whereas in Australia, that has a very, very different meaning. <laughs> um, anyway, um, let's go back and look some more of these photos, and then we'll give some of this stuff away. Um, so there was some. Where's that other one? I only saw it this morning. This. Whose is that? Tyler. This is just bloody awesome. I think. That um, that the light that he's put onto this, it, or she, I'm not sure, um, is, is just bloody awesome. I think that's just incredible. The amount of light on that is just dead set perfect. I'm not sure how dark that was. There's certainly probably moon or town line of light on there. I dare say that was like a torch light doing this sort of thing. Um, but that's, that's just amazing. I think... Um, Hey, where'd it go? There it is. Um, I think that the lighting on that is just on point. I really, really think that's that's done well. Was there any others I want to talk about here? A lot of moon. I guess we're getting to the, the moon cycle at the moment and, and all the folks with the S21s are punching them out. Well, you guys with this, Greg does this to me. I actually thought this was a Greg photo when I first saw it. Um, you guys with your your green, lush uh, rainforests and and water and 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 I'm just like in the middle of it's not desert but it's certainly dry in the middle of Australia. <laughs> I've got to travel some distance to get to that. So when I when it comes to <clears throat> doing these, the long exposure stuff with the S21, there's the closest waterfall I have to me here is about three hours away. So you'll see that soon enough. I might even look actually on the way up to. To the Gold Coast. Actually, in the Gold Coast, there's quite a lot of waterfalls, so I may well just wait for that video until I get up there to do at least one of them, because I'll, I'll do two videos with that. Um, do I want to talk about any more over here? They're just good. Like anyone that that goes through this page here, um, they're just really, really impressive. 
all these photos. Look, you can't look at these photos, any of them, and you go, that's a shit photo. I think they're all quite good, especially that one. That's just amazing. I just recognise whose it was. Um, and this, um, Robert Crane. Oh, he's an Aussie. He's the guy from Mudgy, where my family comes from. Um, he does all... This is definitely worth looking at, what this guy's done. Um, he does a lot of black and white stuff, and it's... It's a, like a high contrasty mono um, silvery sort of um, photos in all the stuff that he puts on this page, and it's worth your while if you're into black and white photography. Just go and find his name there, and you should be able to search through all of his photos that he's put into this group, like the the mono stuff that he does. And here, here's all these color photos that <laughs> it's just not backing up what I'm telling you guys. But like, look at this stuff. Like, the way he does the monochrome stuff, it's just, it's it's really, really impressive. I really like what he does. But um, anywho, the way that he did these photos, and I was really surprised that he did it with this, was with that even longer app. And he was talking about the lack of noise in these photos, and, and he's absolutely right. There's no noise in those photos. Um, so that even longer app is definitely a good app um i'm building a video on it at the moment i've taken a few test photos and stuff with it and um um it's well you'll see in the video um it's a bloody good app um aussie's also used the term double fisting never heard that oh yeah i might have heard that now that i'm now i'm reading what you mean by it uh i've I, I, I haven't, I know what you mean, but it's certainly not a term that's used widely. I'm not sure if I've ever heard it. I know what you mean by that, because um, that's kind of a done thing, having to. Um, Robert Crane, you're, you're the Aussie guy. Have you ever heard that? That double fisting? I've, I don't think I've ever heard that. Yeah, Even Longer is an app. Even The, the app is called Even Longer. It's a little bit confusing um because you just think oh, i'm going to shoot even longer but the app is actually called even longer um yeah it's even long it's a paid app you've got to pay for that sucker but it's not expensive and you've got to pay for different levels of it if you want raw files and stuff but uh i'll talk about that in the video <clears throat> um let's give some shit away um oh, sorry i let that slip occasionally don't i uh, to the group and I was thinking about how do I do this and, and I thought um, I thought how, how do I because you know everyone's everyone's here being part of the group and in this in the face Android that you can shoot long exposure with I haven't found anything hence the the filters um, um, the guy who told me this is from South Australia South of course is from South Australia they're idiots down there just joking um regularly to to what we do here uh, I, I've, I've never said that if you do x y and z i'm going to give you stuff um <clears throat> and i don't really want to go out and 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 post videos on youtube and say comment on this and i'm going to choose a random comment i don't it's not really me i'm not really into that sort of stuff if i'm going to make a video it's going to be to show you a bit of kit or show you how to do something or review something or something like that i don't i don't want to just punch out videos just to get likes and comments to to screw with the algorithm i'm not i don't really like that i think if you if you're going to subscribe to this channel you want to subscribe to what i'm doing not just to win shit um so <clears throat> what i'm going to do and i thought long and hard about this um and i mean that like it just came to me this morning about how i'm going to do it <laughs> so shit how are we going to give this stuff away i can't just like choose a random comment because then people will think hey go back over here down here i want insights to members engagement membership and i'll see as ron is in the last 28 days ron has been the most active member in this group um who else have we got in here Ron Scott Baker. Ah, oh, you're going to kill me with this name, Patrice. Type a comment there. It's probably a delay in coming to me. Um, use double fisting there. Just sounds really bad. 
I've got a feeling that these guys were in here. Maybe they've left. Maybe they're just sick of listening to me jibber jabbering. Um, they're not here. This is going real. Oh, is it? Let's have a look. I'm not sure if the, the connection, the connection seems okay. I've got no errors or anything there. Um, yep, Scott. You're working on a book, Greg. What's going on? I actually uh, looked at some some other live streaming stuff a little while ago. Um, there you go. Double fisting is a thing. I just never heard it here. I can't say I've heard it here. I might have. I know what you mean, but... I. Yeah, maybe it's a South Australian thing. They're, they're weird down there. Um, what's your book, Greg? Do you want to talk about your book? Uh, but I was going to say, um, I've been looking at, so I'm using OBS software here, and uh, I've been looking at using StreamYard, and the the reason that um, you can use, the reason I was thinking about StreamYard is that you can bring people on and have multiple people in the live stream. And um, I was thinking, um, uh, yeah, we. If I'll, I'll touch base with you off off this, Greg, and we'll see if you want to catch up and do something like this. Or, you know, I'm thinking I might bring one of you guys on who've taken, you know, like the the best series of photo. Like <clears throat> Scott's a gun photographer. I don't know if you want to be on this sort of thing, Scott, and like get your melon on the on the live stream here and 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 talk about what you do and stuff and have like a a conversation where everyone can join in that sort of thing. If if that sort of thing is interesting to you guys. Let me know. Have a beer one day. That would, that's hilarious. But if you're interested in that sort of thing, um, like presenting and stuff, and um, uh, but if you if you guys want to like, um, if you're interested, I'll, I'll yeah I'll hit you up. So back to this giving away. Oh, the feed is breaking up. Okay, what I'm going to do, guys, I'll head over to the Facebook group. And I'll post there as to who's getting what, and uh, because it looks like my internet connection is dying in the ass, and we shall. <laughs> yeah, I'll learn how to pronounce your name. That's a ripper idea. We got to do that. All right, cool. Um, jump onto that Bloody Legends Facebook group, and Scott Baker's got one of these. Uh, looks like. Um... Oop. See, the, the, the feed's going okay. You're seeing what I'm seeing there. I was getting some errors there earlier, but not so much now. Um, so Ron, Scott, oh man, I'm so sorry. And Jason. All right, guys. Um, I think that's going to do us for today because it looks like my internet is going. And uh, I'll see you guys in two weeks. And uh, 